Okay, so I thought I would do another quick update on Universal Credit because uh, I don't think I was very clear in my last post. People are saying, stop making life so hard for you, just close your claim. The reason I haven't closed my claim is because I have this outstanding uh, amount of interest that I mistakenly put on my income over the first eight months of my claim because the system's so blooming complicated. And so in July, I submitted all my paperwork to have whatever amount of that I'm allowed back to have it back. Now, my protected year on universal credit, protected means that I was migrated from working tax credits in my case. And it means things like uh, savings are allowed to slide because it's a protected year. Unless you have some really crazy circumstance, you will probably get the protected year. You still have to prove that you are earning enough to be gainfully self-employed, which I could. And so I got that. But I have too much in savings for a normal universal credit claim. So I get my protected year. My protected year ends on, um, it was the 20, 21st of August. So I put in my last claim and then I let it slide. And I thought, they'll just close my claim now. They can't wait to close claims. It's not going to take any time at all. And then I start getting messages saying, you've got to put in your next month claim. You've got to put in your next, next month claim. And so I've asked them, do I need to keep my claim open to keep the claim open for the interest that I'm trying to get back? And nobody has directly answered the question. So it got to the point where I had another reminder saying, you must put in your claim and that was for the month of the 21st of August to the 20th of September and after you get to the end of that month you get a month to get that claim in before they will just automatically shut you down so I had five days to do that um, so I've done that claim and not surprisingly I haven't got any money it's zero but now I can see how they calculate normal universal credit which is interesting to see my minimum income floor is I think it's 1566 a month which I don't hit they think that's the minimum income floor I need it isn't um, and so because I haven't met the minimum income floor I've got zero so I from what I understand, if you don't hit the minimum income floor, they don't pay you. If you earn too much, they don't pay you. I don't know what the middle ground is. It doesn't matter because I'm not eligible for it. But so that obviously means that I'm putting in these monthly claims now and I'm not getting anything. It's not much work because I keep good spreadsheets. I just have to pull a few numbers off. But today, again, fourth time lucky, I have asked them, do I need to keep this claim open until they've reached a decision on the interest? If I close this claim and then it closes the interest investigation, which I bet that's probably what happens, um, then I'm not going to get any of that money back. So I am presuming that when they say it's with a, an investigating officer, like decision maker, that it's because of the interest, not because of UC. I know that if I was in normal circumstances and I come to the end of the protected year, they'd have put me onto normal universal credit and everything would have carried on as normal, but I would have to meet the normal universal credit requirements. I don't meet the normal universal credit requirements because of my interest, my savings threshold. I know that, everybody knows that, they have told me that in work coach meetings and said, you are not eligible once da di da di da We know this. This is not a problem. The only problem is I need to know if this claim is remaining open, not because they want me to claim universal credit uh, or because it's with a decision maker for that, but whether it's purely because of the interest. Until I get a response on that, I'm not going to close my claim because that will probably shut down the savings payment investigation. And I don't want to give them any wiggle room. So, as I say, once again, today, 
I have put another message through saying, if I close my claim, does this close my claim for the interest? And again, I will wait and see if they actually answer the question. So that is why I still have my claim open. It's not because I'm waiting for a decision maker to decide if I'm eligible for universal credit. Everybody knows I'm no longer eligible for universal credit now that the protected year has ended. It's got nothing to do with that. It's this investigation into the interest payments. And once I know that, then I will know what to do. So that's my update. So um, I hope that clears things up. If you're not sure what I'm talking about, just go and look at the last couple of videos in this series. I have a playlist that is set up for Universal Credit and I have catalogued my entire uh, process of this from being on working tax credits, from getting my notification for migration, how the claim has gone, the entire year of my claim. Mostly it's run really well, it's not been a problem. So mostly it's just been me giving updates and explaining processes. Um, I have not found it a difficult experience up until that last month. I have not found it intimidating or scary, but I don't have any other issues. I have found the work coach meetings fine going down to the uh, my Job Centre Plus office has been fine. Um, I've enjoyed getting inside the system a little bit and understanding it. That's one of the main reasons I did it. I would not have claimed Universal Credit otherwise. They told me I was eligible for the first year. I took the first year. If I wasn't eligible, I wouldn't have taken it and they wouldn't have offered it. I, whatever people say about, uh, well, you you know, you should go out and get a job. You shouldn't you shouldn't be claiming this, etc., etc. Um, I am eligible under the system, therefore I'm going to claim it. If they didn't want me to have it, they shouldn't have offered it. It's helped me out. Um, and to be honest with you, the videos that I've managed to make about this have helped other people because the system isn't designed to help people. And when I first started on this journey and I was looking on YouTube, looking for videos about to explain how it worked, because it's a very difficult system to understand, I couldn't find anything that was done by a normal person in the system explaining it. It was all DWP videos or financial professional videos. It was all very clean and very perfect. I just wanted Joe Blogs down the street who'd been claiming the protected year for six months to tell me this is what happens, this is why it is like it is, this is why you get what you get. And I couldn't find it and that's why I started to do it. So if you're on this journey, go back to my playlist, go right back a year to the very first video, watch the videos and I will talk you through all the processes. I do some of the calculations, I, sometimes I don't understand it myself because the system isn't designed to be understood by the people at this end of it and I don't think half the DWP staff understand it either. But I've done my best, I've explained it from my point of view and it is what it is. So. I'm waiting to find out about this savings interest. My work coach, when I handed in the paperwork back in July for this, said it can take a very long time. And I feel like, almost like she said it as if to say, don't bother, don't bother. So when they say very long time, do they mean three months? Probably more than that, because I think it's been more than three months now. July, August, September, October. Yeah, it's been four months now. Do they mean six months? Do they mean a year? Do they mean two years? What is it that I am actually dealing with? She didn't know because they don't know anything in the offices on that respect. My paperwork disappeared off into the ether and um, I hope that someone's got it and not just shoved it at the bottom of their of their drawer unit. We'll soon find out. Um, I am just hoping that the reason this is with a decision maker is because of that claim because it's blatantly obvious that I shouldn't be on normal UC. And I've had my first um, kind of payment summary since I did that first 
claim that was past my year and I've got nothing. I'm not going to get anything from the system now. Fine, I don't care. I didn't think I was going to. I would just like the, the interest repaid to me or whatever is owed to me based on that. So that's the update. So that's the summary. I'm not just going to close the claim because I might lose the other bit and until I get a definitive answer telling me that and presuming they're giving me the right information um, I'm just going to let things keep sliding because if I have to do one calculation a month for six months and then I get that money back um, the full claim amount is about £1,300 it's not like a fiver I probably won't get all of that because it'll be pro rata I would imagine based on hours and all that sort of thing but I'd like some of that back because Yes, it was my fault, but they told me I could claim it back. Therefore, I followed the process. If they didn't want me to have the money back. They should have told me, you can't have it back. It's your fault. They didn't. So that's that update, and um, that's where we now stand. I hope that clears it up for anyone who hopefully is watching all the videos rather than just watching one and commenting on it. It's quite frustrating when people just make a blatant comment against one video when they haven't followed the whole process and don't actually know what's been going on. And that happens quite a lot um, because people, very often, they're people that aren't following my channel and they'll get a recommendation. It'll pop up on their home, their home feed. Um, and they'll just click on it and watch it and then they'll comment based on that and won't watch anything else which makes things really difficult as I've had a lot of comments on this one where I think some people haven't watched the series and don't understand what's been going on for the last year uh, because otherwise they wouldn't need to make the comments they have uh, but hopefully this now summarises the whole situation um, and I will update you when I hear anything else I guess thanks for watching, bye bye